I spent 24 hours in Melbourne. It's very clear so many of you are trying to take the next step in your careers, but you just don't know how. How do you chunk up the things that you do? Here's a take on that. I did trade attention and build businesses. Just landed in Melbourne, off to the hotel, going to shower, run right downstairs, meet uh, a gift goat from V Friends. Basically, we've got the next 14 hours program straight. I made a crucial mistake on the flight. It was a 25 hour flight. I woke up eight hours ago, worked the whole way. This is gonna be a rough one. See how the energy holds up? A little groggy right now. You know, 25, 26 hours of travel is kind of rough. Put the key in. Got them looking, yeah, they praying. She like, I like what I'm seeing. Now we up. Yeah, Such a pleasure. Thanks, Gary. Luke, nice Luke, to meet you. Luke, how are you? Sherelle, nice Sherelle, to meet you. Such a pleasure. I've been holding on these. Uh, this, yeah. this, this, this one I really want. Do you want to win them off me? Yes. Do you want to arm wrestle me more? Probably. Even though, <laughs> <laughs> even though I don't think I can win. It, oh, that's why you asked me left side. Yeah. Right yeah. Side. <laughs> yeah. I've screened my pack in Chicago and like, it's killing me. Yeah, left and and le left side, it was funny, Mike, so, <laughs> yeah. do you think I, I can beat you in arm wrestling? I, don't see, I don't see no, it. It's oh, it's so big, look at this. It's not. This is all good. <laughs> 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 On film, fully documented. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yep. Go. Yeah. No chance. <laughs> Daz. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're gonna edit it with just the place where I yeah, want I you to edit. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. It's lovely to meet you. Enjoy pleasure. the rest of the show. Yeah, yeah. Time. Such a pleasure. Thank you. All right, going into a client meeting, so you'll be not filming this. Yeah. Tell him don't play with me. Bitch, I got gang with me. This one trade with me. I've been up late viewing tape for the sake of it. Heart do the race on stage. I got here to the gray lace. Let me slide in the rab like a wave full of tank in it. I've been clearing space for me. I've been feeling great. Respect a lot of these crowds. You're not really for a couple years. Think. Literally, if it's one person, I'll just go hard. Yeah. Like Rick. What's really wild about it is like, I generally, like, of course, I'd be like, hey, what went wrong? But I wouldn't be like, oh, I suck or this sucks. I'd be like, Rick. You gotta fuck it. <laughs> you know, like I can get really hyped. Yeah. I just want the glory, friend. See that expression on your face is so bad to me. Why so serious? Just gotta deal with it. Heavy on that shit. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you, Gary. Good to see you. How do you prepare in that situation? You mean like this? Piece of cake. Just never, ever, ever talk about something you don't know. I'll see you later. Take care of yourselves. Hello. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming. Yeah, of course. Thank you, brother. It's good to be back. Honestly, I'm looking to provide as much value in this setting as possible and thrilled to answer any question that anybody might have. Can I ask a boring question? Yeah. You do so much shit. Yeah. And I struggle a lot with like, I guess chunking up the things that I want to do. Cause like, I'll have a product I want to do, I'll have yep. something I want to write, I'll have this I want to do. What's yep. the platform to focus on? Like how do you chunk up the things that you do? A couple things work for me. One, I'm not scared to lose. So I think a lot of times, a lot of people don't do a lot of things because they can't take the L. When you're doing 31 things, like seven are gonna fail quickly. And I'm just okay with that. And I think that's one thing to think about. How old are you? I'm 26. Yeah, I mean, there's just some, there's a level of practice to it. Because I like juggling 30 balls because I'm okay with seven of them breaking. Most people are like petrified for a ball to drop. Pleasure, I'll see you out there. Hi. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Oh, Let's come down. You ready to rock and roll? So you're gonna fireside chat me and then we're gonna do Q&A? Please be on the stage and make some noise for Gary Has Has money mindset been an issue at all or has it just been like a byproduct of your... Byproduct. Money's good and all, like I understand what it is. It's just the problem is I just know way too many people with money that are miserable and this is where luck comes in for sure. I love business. We're living in an era where people have put entrepreneurship on a pedestal and a lot of people are forcing themselves to be on
entrepreneurs when they're not. Self-awareness is what leads to happiness. Not everybody should be an entrepreneur. It takes a real stomach to be an entrepreneur. Everything's on you. People are like, what's your morning routine? I'm like, I wake up and look at my phone to make sure the world's not on fire. Because my Singapore office is open and Australia's open. Like, it's constant anxiety. You gotta like it for it not to be anxiety, but if you don't like it and you were not built for it, it fucking is the worst. And I watch entrepreneurship eat up people every day. I think we should go to the audience now. If you have a question for Gary, we're gonna ask you to do his line up behind one of these microphones. I highly recommend you get your ass in line. Let's get going. Hi. Hi Gary, my name is Nick Cullo. I was part of Eruption 5. I was the addict to for 26 years and overcame that addiction two and a half years clean now. So I post my journey on social media. I feel I'm making an impact. I'm still trying to get a fucking handle on life and it's a journey, I'm learning. We all are. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm impacting people. I'm starting to be consistent in the gym and I'm getting fucking messages. I'm consistent in the gym too, this is amazing. And, and, and the thing is I'm unemployed. I'm just wondering, do you have any advice of how I can monetize what I'm doing or? I mean, do you want to get a job? Yeah, but, but, but that's, this is me, like I love I love posting my journey. But, love- but I'm asking you a really practical question because yeah. I want you to win. Monetizing is very challenging. Let me explain. You've got to either get brand deals, you've got to either be a big enough creator where you're getting meaningful money from the revenue share of the platforms, yeah. which you have to be at a very high level for that. You have to create a product to sell. You could create a course or charge your audience. I think that changes the entire dynamic of it. Yeah. Monetizing is challenging. The reason I'm asking is, I think the same tenacity you're attacking this with, applying to 10 or 15 jobs a day with good copy and good videos is something you also have to give a thought to. Because I think the stability of having the job nine to five and then do content afterwards might take the anxiety off because when you're unemployed, it's on your mind. Yeah, 100%. And then you may, you might actually be sitting on something, this is very important, I want everybody to hear this, you might be sitting on something very powerful but you have to keep doing it for another three years before it goes to where you want it to. But if you're so anxious to turn it into money, you're gonna lose your audience because they're gonna feel it and all you needed to do was get a nine to five. I can get that. Okay, yes, I understand. It's in the hard work, they call in the talent. And I find that disrespectful because I put on the mileage. Up for the sh- but I'm down for the challenge. Step off the scene just to find me a balance. Thank you, Melbourne. I love you. Thank you. That was like more like a therapy session. Yeah, yeah. Like you was, like, was I was like in following it. Yeah. I like that a lot. You Yeah. I like the kind of mellow, kind of like. It was like a family conversation. Good job up there. And in the morning didn't feel was tired of being single, so I went and got a real one says. That was awesome. Thank you. I love it. You're both crushing it, changed my life, Gary. It's a pleasure to meet you. Such a pleasure. You know, when going through these lines of a hundred people and taking these quick selfies, you know, I'm empathetic that the uh, the event is normally trying to get through everybody. They're probably being empathetic to me and want to get me home. It's a long day. But the reality is, is like having that microsecond, seeing how people are doing, making sure I, I connect with them, you know, is, is very important to me. Dog, yeah. Trying to make it out the struggle, dog, yeah. Hey, watch out this bubble, dog, yeah. I put in so much hustle, dog. It's all about that muscle, dog, yeah. Trying to make Walking into a client dinner, that eight to 10 clients. So really double dipping here between the, you know, speaking tour and Vayner Media business development. Anytime you can get two for the price of one, it's always good. So we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna meet with some uh, Vayner Sports Pass people right after this. Of course, have a wonderful evening. So we'll see them. We'll see you in Sydney. A, lo- a lot of things I think about is doing things when it's hard. We flew from New York to San Francisco, San Francisco to Melbourne. We're in the air for 24 hours, we land, we shower, and we go right at it. You saw everything we're doing, like fucking meetings and then meetings and then meetings and keynotes and meetings and lines. Now I'm sitting with two gentlemen who own Vayner Sports Passes, who AJ calls me you know, three weeks ago and says, hey, there's a couple of holders of Vayner Sports Pass. They live in Australia, I'd love for you to meet them and they're in Melbourne. Well, my Melbourne name was super duper packed and like, as you can imagine, after 14 hours sitting in the lobby of the hotel at midnight and chopping it up with these guys for an hour, that is challenging. But the reality is so many of you that are watching here, you want the finished product. 
well, these are the details. Like, are you willing to do something for your community? Are you willing to sit here and bring value? I sat there for an hour and answered all the business questions and I was locked in. Just doing it's not enough. You gotta do it right. Meaning I wouldn't do it if I was gonna mail it in because I'm gonna leave a bad impression. And that's a waste of you know, energy on both sides. And so, you know, this is just a clip to wrap up the day. The reality is I'm fucking exhausted at this point. And the question is, if you want it, like there are gonna be moments where you're gonna go harder and stronger and deeper than, than, you know, maybe you even want to. Sometimes you gotta dig a little bit deeper, especially, and this is the key here, especially for all of you that are talking that shit.